In this movie, we're going to cover user-defined fields. User-defined fields are basically anything that doesn't drive directly from the database. Essentially, these are fields stored in the crystal report, but not in your actual data source. And here are your types. You have your custom text, like the text boxes we create and type whatever description we want into. Those will be stored in your crystal report and not in the database. The next would be summaries. As you've seen in prior lessons, these summaries aren't stored in the database but are derived from but stored in the crystal report. Lastly, we have formulas. Formulas are custom user defined, either deriving from or user created to interact with the data from the database, but also stored in your crystal report. Let's give you some samples of what I mean. Go ahead and open crystal reports. From the previous movie, we were just looking at the raw revenue table and explaining what kind of fields we could have. The most obvious example is when I click on this or drag my mouse over it, I have a print date field. This is a prime example of a user defined field, if you will, that is stored in the crystal report but not in the database. Everything else on here that you see on the screen is database derived, like the field heading comes directly from the database. Now in the field headings we can of course adjust these as we see fit manually, but as they come over raw they're derived strictly from the database field name. And then we have the data itself. Again, we can click on these but we can't change it or otherwise modify it directly. Also our page numbers are saved in the crystal report and aren't really database driven per se. Now, they're indirectly rated in so much as it pulls back data and then it knows how many pages to calculate and which page numbers those will be. Let's go to View, Field Explorer. Our database fields, again as we can see the types that they are, come straight from there. We cannot enter any of these fields and override it. Crystal can only pull data. However, Crystal can indirectly modify data in a report. Not the database itself now, but in the report. Now, of course, the most common user field would be here, the special field section. These, of course, are all unique to Crystal Reports and will be stored there if used. The other type of reports are the formula fields. In the next lesson, we're going to get into that a little more in detail, but let me give you a small taste. I'm going to right-click, select New, and then give this a formula name. I'll call this Net Amount. You can really name it whatever you want. From here, I get this formula editor. And from that point, I can grab any field available, such as revenue amount, and I'm going to type in a minus sign, refund amount. And then I'm going to save and close. Now I've just created a user defined field in its truest sense. This is a field that is derived from the data in the database, but not stored in said database, but rather stored in the report itself. In this case, I've taken my revenue data minus my refund amount and I've created a new field called net amount. From here I can treat this as a regular field, I can even filter on it. And it really depends what you're trying to accomplish. 